Hey, what's up Camp Nerd fans? We're back with another tutorial today and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using the edit text with the material and within the edit text we're going to be putting a password to where it has the icon to where you can click it to show and hide the password. Later on these tutorials will start building up and then you'll be able to build a login screen uh, to your application as well. So what we are going to do first is we're going to bring this to a relative layout as you can see right here and then within this relative layout we're going to use the material theme. Now if you go to your build.gradle you're going to notice this is all in Android X that's the newest form of creating apps in Android Studio is using Android X you're going to look for your material which is this right here if you do not have this repository then you need to add this dependency and you can type it and put it in right here it's com.google.android.material colon material colon 1.2.1 as of today December 11th 2020 that is the newest version and if you don't have it and you add it be sure to sync the gradle to where it'll add that repository as well if it's shaded green going across that means it is out of date and there's a newer date just click on that green and there will be a little bubble come over here you'll click that and then you would update that to the newest version and then hit sync as well all right so now let's get back to the tutorial of adding this password so what we are going to do is we are going to add the material and once you start to type material you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to the text field dot text input layout and you're going to click on that you're going to set the width as match parent and the height is wrap content and you're going to close it off without the forward slash all right so you're going to also put within that you're going to put an edit text and then you're going to put the width is match parent and the height is wrap content and you're going to press forward slash to close that so what we're going to do is we're going to get this all centered in the application so you want to type your center vertical set it to true and then you also want to type in your center horizontal and set that to true as well. All right, we're also going to uh, do the same thing with the edit text, but we're going to do a little bit differently with that. We're just going to put just a couple of input fields in here. So you want to put an input type, so Android input type. And then this is going to be your text password, like so. All right, now we're going to come below that, and we don't want that gray shade. So we're going to put your Android background, and we're going to put that as white. And then we are also going to put a hint, which is your Android hint, and this is going to be email. All right, we want to define the text size or you can leave it the way that it is like that. Also, what we would need to do is come up here uh, in your material text field, text input layout. You are going to add a few things. Uh, you're going to add your toggle. And once you start typing toggle, you're going to see your app password toggle enabled you're going to click that and you're going to click true now you see over here you have that toggle switch right there all right now up here in your relative layout under your match parent you want to put a padding of 25 dp like so okay and now you have the email edit text field 
So what we are going to do is we are going to run this application. Uh, wait, come back down here where the text hint says email. That should be password. Like so. All right. Now we are going to run this application. And as it is building the Gradle and it's coming up, launching the activity, it succeeded in the operation. You can see here that we have the password. And so if we type a password, we're just gonna randomly type, you can see that it comes up with the dots. Now, if we click this, you'll see that it shows the password. You can also do this very simple as, uh, if you wanted to add more to it in the next video, we're going to add on for the email as well. But this is how you add the toggle switch to view the password on and off. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And remember, I am Ian here in the camp and we will see y'all in the next video tutorial. Y'all have an awesome day and y'all keep it nerdy. I don't even know that. I don't know that.